it's your girl, a girl connect, coming at you today with a video non-hair related. I'm actually going to talk about today one of my other passions, which is reading. I love, love, love to read. Um, I've always, as long as I can remember, I've always loved it and I always will. So I wanted to share with you all some books that I got from the library the other day. You all, I had a balance for a minute on my library card and so I couldn't check out books. So I paid it off yesterday, which was Saturday, and was able to check out books again. Yay! So don't let your balance, don't let it go, you know, too bad because then you can't check out any books. But, um, yeah. So let me share with you some books, or I shouldn't say some, I'm going to share with you all the books that I got from the library. So I'm going to start with this one I got. This is The Style Strategy by Nina Garcia. And I think why I really was drawn in is because don't you just love how it looks with the the gold? You're like, ooh, like you're reading the golden book or something. I know, I'm a little whack. It's good. But um, anyway, so this is just her book about basically the less is more approach to, um, you know, staying stylish and not necessarily being trendy. But um, I already pretty much know that, but I just like to read. I like to read other fashionistas, you know, people that work in the industry, their take on, you know, fashion and style and what they feel like. I love I love reading about how other people express themselves. So it's a mega good book and I like Nina. She cool. I mean I love the illustrations. They're by Ruben Toledo. Let me show you some of them because they're so cute. Right? I just wish they had some sisters up in here. Such cute illustrations, which is another one of the things that I enjoy. Um, fashion illustration, but that's another video. So yeah, the style strategy, Nina Garcia. Another book that I got is by Elon Harris, and it's called Just Too Good to Be True. Elon, he's a good author. I've read a couple of his books, and I'm sure if you guys know about Elon, you know about all the little surprises he'd be having in his books. So. This should be interesting, but I, when I was reading, you know, the little, the little brief synopsis or whatever description of the book, it seemed cool. So we'll see what's up with it. But um, I just, I love fiction and I love reading about drama because I don't like a lot of drama in my life. I don't have a lot of drama in my life, so I like to read about it and watch it on TV because there's no place for it in my life. So I gotta go elsewhere to get a little drama fix. Okay, other book is Waking with Enemies by Eric Jerome Dickey. And this is actually the sequel to another book that he came out with before this one called Sleeping with Strangers. Good, good book. Any of you all that read Sleeping with Strangers? That book was what's up. That was a good, good book. I mean, and it had like lots of action and suspense. You were like on your toes the whole time. Like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Like, I really got invested in the book and in the character. And that's when I know it's a good book when I'm like, really invested in the story and you know the character may be doing something and I'm like what are you doing you get like really into it so this book this picks up where sleeping with strangers um, left off so I'm excited to read my sister has already read this one and so she was telling me she didn't want to spoil it but she's like girl is good you need to get it so finally paid that balance and I, I can read it now uh, I also got this book by James Patterson called the murder of King Tut I honestly can't remember if this book is fiction or non-fiction, but um, when I was younger, I used to be really intrigued by ancient Egyptian culture, and I really love like Nefertiti and like, you know, the hats and just, I don't know, the makeup, I even like, you know, the hieroglyphics and all of that. Like when I was a kid, I used to say I wanted a tattoo that like said my name in Egyptian hieroglyphics. I don't know about that now, but you know, that's youth for you. Um, yeah, so it looks good. Um, you know, King Tut, um, the way like he was murdered and or his life and death and things like that are very intriguing to a lot of people. So I said, well, let me read this book. But yeah, oh, it says a nonfiction thriller. Okay, so it's a nonfiction book. So we'll see what this is about. The last book I checked out is by my girl Susie Orman. Love her, love her. You know, I'm finally getting older and I always tell you know people younger than me you should definitely you know 
know, know your financial information and things like that. You need to really be invested in it like like it's your favorite dress, like it's your favorite song, whatever, because it's really a, an important part of your life, you know. Money, money doesn't, well, money does make the world go around, but I know what some people are going to say, you know, money can't buy you happiness, this and that, but, you know, money does pay your bills, money does keep a roof over your head, things like that, and the better you manage it, I mean, the more money that you'll have so that you can do the things that you can enjoy, or say if someone gets sick, you have the money, you know, you don't have to stress about how you're going to get the money, you just have it. Anyways, so I got this book, Women and Money, by Susie Orman because I heard it was a fabulous book and I'm really at a point in my life where I'm like you know you had the time where you made a lot of different financial mistakes it's time to get it together it's time to learn from those mistakes get it together and move forward I have a lot of goals that I want to do and let's just keep it let's just keep it funky money money is going to determine you know what how I can get attain these goals and how soon that I can in some cases especially when it comes to having your own business. So I'm really excited to read this book. I actually started reading it already. And um, I have a financial blog that I just started, and I'll put the link somewhere on this video. I'm thinking of like having a little like discussion on this book on my blog. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely visit my financial blog. See, there's a lot more to me than just hair and makeup and fashion. Um, and then one last book I wanted to share is um, a book that I'm reading with my church's book club. Um, they have a bunch of different book clubs, but I'm co-leading one, and we're reading In a Pit with a Lion on a Snowy Day. And this, I bought this book. I didn't check this book out. It looks like this, and it's by Mark Batterson. Now, it is a Christian book, but if you're non-Christian, you can still read this book and get a lot of good um, get a lot of good information and inspiration from it. It's basically um, in a pit with a lion on a snowy day. It's basically like the lions, the lion symbolizes different, different obstacles in your life, different hardships. So the book is basically talking about how to, you know, reframe your mind and look at those hardships as opportunities to be a better person. So, you know, how to take those hardships and twist it and make it work for you and make you a better person. So I think this is a really good book for the point of my life that I'm at right now. Um, I've just been thinking about a lot of different things, um, you know, a lot of mistakes I made in the past and how to not make them again, but also just how to look at things maybe with a different pair of lenses and just try to see the opportunities in different hardships that I experienced in the past, that I'm experiencing now, and that I will run into in the future. So, again, you know, non-Christians, definitely, you can still read this book and get a lot from it you know it's not it's not a book that's like oh you know Christianity or die kind of thing but um I mean he does make different references to the the Bible but the principles are universal anybody can gain a lot from this book so so yeah so these are the books that your girl is reading so I think my strategy is I'm reading women and money because I really want to get to this book and then I think I'm going to just kind of speed read through this because this is this is a short read. Like I probably could read this book in a few hours because that's just how I do. So I could do that. Um, these two, I think I can read these pretty quick just because if they're really good, I'm not going to want to put it down. So I would say in... A week if I wanted to I could be done with both of these this is like a few hours um, this one depends on how good it is if it's moving slow it might take me a while and I might have to renew this one and then women and money um, this looks like a short read it's just under 300 pages so I can get that done I think the library they give you a like two or three weeks I can't remember to check out you know to before you have to return the book so 
Yep, so that's that guys. And if you're checking out my hair, this is a shout out to Miss Vaughn because I learned how to do this quick easy hairstyle from her. All it is is a hump in the front and a French braid in the back that you start at the back and you braid up. So I think it's cute. It was really easy. It took me about 15 minutes to do and I'm sure it will be faster once I get used to braiding like that because I don't usually braid up as you braid down. So I just turn around real quick so you can see the back. So this is how the side looks. Have a little French braid in the back and I'm sure it looks a little hit because I haven't been I haven't been French braiding in a while so it probably looks a little ugh. but anyways so that was it guys um yeah talk to you later bye bye